Take a look at that glass you're drinking out of. Know where that water came from? Lake Lanier. Lake Lanier is part of a river system that runs from North Georgia all the way down to the Gulf of Mexico, giving water to a whole lot of people. Some Georgians, some Floridians, and yes, some Alabamians. It's created a 30-year water war over where the faucet runs. Now only a small part of the lake, about 5%, actually sits in Gwinnett County. But here's the kicker. The Buford Dam, which is in Gwinnett, dumps a whopping 60% of all the water in that entire tri-state system. In fact, Buford Dam releases enough water every single day to fill up one of these for every single American. Now here's the catch. Only about a third of that water gets to go to Metro Atlanta. That's about 100 million gallons. But it's not just for drinking water. Our thirst for water goes beyond the glass. The United Nations estimates that by 2050, the world's population will have peaked to 9 billion people. But those same numbers tell us we'll have the same amount of water that we do now. Many scholars say that the wars of the future won't be based on territory or culture, but on resources. And Gwinnett's no exception as one of the fastest growing counties in the nation. How will we quench our thirst and why aren't we hearing more about our major water provider? Truth is, we aren't in a drought anymore. There just aren't many headlines. About a year ago, a federal judge ordered that Alabama, Florida, and Georgia work out their differences, giving them three years to settle the water wars, and said that every city in Metro Atlanta but Buford and Gainesville needed to pull the tap by July 2012. But look at this report from the governor's office last December from a task force designed to address the issue. The task force does not foresee the ability of the metro region to meet the potential water shortfall in 2012, even with extremely aggressive mandated conservation. Now, last month, we had a spot of good news. A judge ruled that Florida couldn't take more water for its wildlife population. But just last week, senators from Alabama and Florida teamed up, warning officials that if more water keeps flowing to Metro Atlanta, it'd violate court orders and derail settlements between the states. This is where we stand, Gwinnett. Who knows what the future holds? The clock's ticking, and not many people are talking about it. But without an alternative, taking away Buford Dam's water supply is a death sentence to Gwinnett as we know it. Jessica K. King, GBC News.